Hey everybody, Hans here. Well, it's a new month and that brings some new changes to the Hans Solo Board Gaming Patreon page. I've adjusted the rewards for the levels of backers on my Patreon page and I want to go over those changes real quick before we get into our video today. Now on the road level, you'll earn the ability to vote on the videos you see on my channel. At the settlement level, you'll get a shout out in an upcoming video. This has been a huge success already as seen here by real reactions from real Patreons who backed at that level. Lastly, at the city level, not only will you get the shout out the settlement backers get, you will gain access to previously unreleased and unaccessible content that I'll be releasing. Currently, it's gonna take the form of a live gameplay with me. Uh, once a month, I'll be playing a solo game and we'll chat and have conversations and uh, just you know shoot the breeze while I play the game. If you've enjoyed or gotten anything out of my videos thus far, please consider uh, backing and, and becoming a Patreon and earning some of these rewards. Whether it be a one-time or rolling donation, anything can really help me make sure that I can continue this endeavor to my passion and it will allow me to commit more time to this, so I really truly appreciate it. Now, on to the game. Released in 2015, designed by Adrian Abella and David Chirkop, and illustrated by this person. You'll forgive me, I'm not going to even try it. Published by Artipia Games, The Pursuit of Happiness is a game in which you take your character and try to live out your best life. Using a worker placement mechanic with time as your workers, you're going to take on projects, get jobs, get into relationships, try to raise families, and live the best life that you can. Not happy with your life? With this game, you can start a second life. And in that second life, you can right all the wrongs, retake all those missteps, and finally live the life you always dreamed of. Maybe this time, you take that executive training opportunity instead of playing summer co softball. Maybe this time, you actually listen to what your wife says when she's dropping hints to you about what to get her for Christmas. Maybe this time, you actually put oil in a car. Maybe this time, you don't die penniless and alone atop your stack of collector and box set DVDs worth nothing, nothing. Won't you join me now as I solo play The Pursuit of Happiness. All right, here we have set up for solo play, Pursuit of Happiness. This is a game, it's gonna go over a certain number of rounds. If I take care of myself, um, my body and mind, I'm gonna be able to advance longer in this game. If not, I'm gonna die quicker. So, each round I'm gonna be spending actions. I'm gonna have six to start, but depending on how much stress I take, I might not be able to be able to do so much because I'm stressed out. What am I going to be doing? Well, I can take some actions over here to gain things. I can study, play, interact, or a uh, temp job, and I'm going to gain one of the four resources that I'll need in this game. Um, I'll get three of them if I go to any one of these actions. If I go to this action, the spend action, I'm going to get to either buy an item or activity. We'll get into those in a little bit. Or I could take a project um, up here, one of the cards in those rows as well. When you're a teen, there's three things you can't do. You can't get a job, you can't start a relationship, and you can't work overtime. Once I become an adult, those will be, then be able to uh, be activated. Job, I'm going to be able to possibly um, earn my way to a job relationship. I can uh, engage in a relationship with a significant other um, and then over time <clears throat> I take two time, but I lose two stress Here's the rest action I can go here and gain two so say I worked overtime in a later round I can gain two levels back. Here's the thing about stress though, that is a real, that's real stressful. Um, you can't jump into another color moving forward in this, in this fashion of just moving. You have to unlock a card that has this heart on it 
Um, you'll find that in s mostly projects, um, but it's going to be able to advance you to that next level. If not, say I rested it, I was here, I'd move up one and I'd lose the other. Um, so why it's important to keep stress levels low? Well, at the upkeep phase, that's the beginning, we check to see how many hourglass we have. We always start with six, but if you're in this zone, you'll have seven, this zone eight, this zone nine. Conversely, if you get down here, you're going to lose hourglasses. So maintaining and managing your stress is very important. This spend time marker is just going to be a time where um, perhaps you have these hourglasses on a card. The card gets discarded. You just put those over there until the, uh, the end of the round when you, when you retrieve all your time back. We talked about this stress uh, in, uh, uh, indicator. The other indicator we have on the board is the short-term happiness. Um, you're going to have, again, things on cards that are smiley faces. Um, that's going to raise your short-term happiness. Things like ending relationships um, and having to discard cards from your, your hand, that's going to make you uh, lose uh, short-term happiness. Well, what does that matter? Well, it, there's an indicator of a plus one, plus two, plus three, minus one, minus two, minus three. Um, projects become le more more expensive or less expensive based on your short-term happiness. So if I was uh, to say I was at a plus one short-term happiness and I wanted to take this project of learning to dance, instead of paying one, uh, it's one cheaper. So um, I, I would have to pay to do this one. If I was advancing, I'd only pay two instead of three. Conversely, if I was on the swingy side of it. It would add resources that I'd have to um, resources that I'd have to um, pay in addition to the ones that were listed. This right here is where we're going to house all of our cards that are going to be available. Um, projects and activities get refreshed after one leaves the board. Jobs and partners do not. We don't have jobs and partners right now because we can't access them. We will unlock those and deal them out in the next round. So the key focus of this game is you're working your life to achieve three life goals. And in this game, we've got three life goals of you can take it with you. I have to have, just for the solo game here, at eight coins, eight dollars when I die. So that's one goal I have to achieve. Another is I have to live it up. That means I have to get three short-term happiness in one goal. For solo play, we ignore everything up here. We just look at solo game. And my third goal is and uh, die after the second round of old age. So I can't die in this round, and I can't die in this round. I have to die in this round. So I have to be very accurate about when I move on. So those are our three life goals. In order to win at a solo game, you have to achieve all three of those and have a victory point tracker to 50, all the way over here. Okay? So three rounds of the game, upkeep phase, skip the... Uh, the first turn, then it's the action phase, and then the end of round phase. So in the action phase, I'm literally going to go around and I'm going to start taking actions uh, around the board. One last thing to look at here, we all have a child trait. My childhood trait is I'm resourceful. So whenever I take the rest action, I am going to be gaining a resource of my choice. So I thought that uh, was an... You deal out to, to start it. You you deal out two and you keep one. I thought that aligned with old the Zen because you do have to manage your stress in order to get past that first year of old age. Sometimes that first year of old age can can get you. But you also don't want to be too healthy because you can't live past that uh, that death mark now. Okay. Um, also indicated on this is our starting resources. I'm going to get four intelligence four creativity and three influence and now let's begin with this game i think one of the oh um I'll, uh, i haven't explained all the rules in here uh though we'll we'll fish them out as they they come along absolutely so first thing we're going to do is we are going to take a temp job we always want to have some money with us money is the key to happiness right as some would say Let's take a look over at our items and activities. So we've got projects and items and activities. Right now we have all items. And we've got two group projects. Group projects work a little differently. They're a one round thing. Um, when, you, when you take on a project, you put your marker on one of these four quadrants, pay this cost, get that benefit. At the end of the round, for however many uh, hourglasses are on this card, you get additional benefits. 
This is a, um, a, a pretty, this is a, a regular, I guess you'd say, project where you're going to uh, level up. You're going to slowly advance on this. So each time you advance, you put an hour. First, you put an hourglass on the take project uh, portion of the board. Pay this cost and you get this benefit. I'd raise my short-term happiness one. Every round moving forward, I would then put a black cube on this level. Every round forward, um, I can advance it. If it's a basic project, this this main project, you have to you have to enter it at level one. You can't come in, in you can't come in naturally doing the fox trot. You have to you have to come in at that level one. So those are our projects. We could start a restaurant. We could learn to dance. We could uh, do a startup company. I'm thinking I'd like to learn to dance. I have a pretty good amount of influence. It's going to give me that short-term happiness. Um, I need to get three short-term happiness in one round. So if I could get this one, <coughs> I could possibly pair it up here. I could get a shoe collection and a clothes collection. I, ha I have the money now for my temp job. I have the three dollars. So that could be good. That'd be one, two, three. That I that would be a life goal I could achieve in the first round, which would be really nice because. You really do need to focus on getting points. 50 points does seem very difficult. So I'm feeling like we want to do this. Uh, let's look at these activities. We've got shoe collection, clothes collection, ancient relics. Here we can we can enter this. Uh, I, I, we can buy them at any level. It's not like a project where we have to enter a level one. Here I could, if I had this much money and I want to spend this much on a walk-in wardrobe right away, I could. Um, but for purposes of... Um, the, this early in the game, I'm going to start down this level one because each of these have an upkeep cost, meaning I have to pay this upkeep to keep them there. If I do, I get an awesome benefit, which is good. I mean, I, I'd like to advance both of these. They're very good benefits, but I have to get a job probably because it's going to cost me money each round. If I can't pay that upkeep cost, I discard them and I lose short-term happiness, and that's going to make things more expensive and harder to do. So being able to commit to holding them. So I'm going to get them here. I won't have to do any upkeep. Then I can prepare myself and get a job and then advance both of them. And then I'm getting a short-term happiness and a point each round. So the earlier the better on this one for sure because we want to soak up those points. So I think those are going to be our, our things we're going to do here. I think we're going to focus on acquiring these three things. Now, um, foreshadowing, um, I'm committing a lot of time and effort into getting items, so that might have an effect on me in my life. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to spend for this clothes collection, and we're going to spend two coin. We're going to get one influence, one short-term happiness, and one victory point for that. And I'm just going to put it, um, we'll get there eventually, but I'm just going to put it down here um, in front of me. I'm paying those two coin for that. Getting my one influence. People are influenced by my, my clothes. I'm going to gain a short term happiness and I am going to gain a point. So, and then I, I wanted this shoe collection too. As this teenager, I'm just so obsessed with, with clothes and fashion. So, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend this again, but there's a, there's a consequence to taking this action again twice. Um, once you have one hourglass on there and you put your second one, you're going to take a stress for doing that. Um, that's going to stress you out a little bit. So, but I'm going to, alas, I'm going to do it because it's going to help me reach a life goal, and, and that's the point of this game. So I'm going to spend my one coin, and I'm going to get two more influence and another short-term happiness. And another short-term happiness. So now I'm at two. I need one more to reach this life goal. I'm li As a teenager, I am living it up. Now, with these final three actions, I'm going to take this dance project. It's not going to cost me anything. So I'm going to learn to dance. I've got two left feet. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to gain one short-term happiness for that. And that means I'm going to put a black cube on, living it up. We have achieved a life goal one round in in our teen years. Wow, it's good. I like it. I've got two time left. I'm th debating on resting. I think that's gonna not going to be as much of a benefit right now as 
taking just taking resources. I think that's where we're going to go. And looking at my resources, I, I have a lot of influence because of my clothes. I don't have a lot of intelligence, so I'm going to study for three. And the question is, am I going to be creative? Yeah, I'm going to need. I'm going to need a lot of creativity to advance in my 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 dancing. So, and I'd like to to achieve this project. Um. Because it's going to be five victory points. Because I do, not only do I, remember, not only do I have to do these three, I have to also get 50 victory points. So, yeah, we're going to, oh, the other option, though, do I want to advance it? No, I think I think they'll burn me out a little bit too much. Let's take the creativity. Um, well, so we're taking three creativity. So we've placed all of our hourglasses, so now we are at the end of the round phase. Okay, so at this point we would, oh, and you know what? I did not. I should have refilled these. Um, I don't think I would have taken any of them because it would have been very stressful um, for me. Um, but in terms of getting where I should be in the, the, the actual deck, projects and activities refresh. You, you put them out after some pull off. So upkeep phase. If, if anyone played any group projects, we would then gain these additional um, bonuses, but we don't have that. Um, any projects that were just a single turn, and we haven't come across those, but I'll point it out when it comes out, we would discard those. Then the next thing is we take back our hourglasses. We determine first player. That doesn't matter here, but we're going to reset our short-term happiness back down. Um, uh, there. It's the end of the first round, so we're now going to remove our restricted plays areas. And that's it. That's the end of the round phase. So now we're going to do the upkeep phase. Here, we're going to advance the round moniker. So we're officially in adulthood now. We're going to discard cards from the display, and we're going to refresh them. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so we now have our new set of cards. Looks like we can... As a project, we can take on a political manifesto, a join a study group, or a join a a cappella quartet, which would be a group project. We got some new activities and or new items. We have our first activity. We've got two jobs available to us. We've got a screenwriter, and uh, we've got a costume designer. Now, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about getting a job. This is a level one job, so this is a starting job. So it's going to be a little bit easier to get into. It's an arts job. There's three areas, arts, science, and um, something, social maybe. Um, this is the cost to do it. I'd have to have three creativity and one influence. I would get $6, and then I would have this upkeep payment of one time, one at creativity, one influence, and I would get $6. So jobs are going to be your way to make up money. Um, <clears throat> There's an interesting about, thing about jobs is if, if another job, art job comes out and I want more money and it's the next level, level two, I can then just pay the promotion cost, which is going to be cheaper than the, uh, the initial cost if I bought the card outright. Um, and then I get this special bonus instead of the bonus that's on the card. But I advance in my career kind of thing, which is very interesting. We also have our first possible matches in a relationship. We've got Bobby and Dana. Um, these... Um, Initially, we'll just give you a one-time bonus. If you advance it, there's a there is a um, a trigger, so you have to have at least five dollars to start dating Bobby. But once you start dating her, you're gonna have short-term happiness. You're gonna relax, which is a relief of stress, um, and then you're gonna be able to do this upkeep where you're gonna gain a short-term happiness and a point every time. So it's a nice way to generate points. Some of them help you generate more um, money. You get in a relationship with Dana. She is gonna give you. She's a she's a career oriented lady and she's bringing in money of her own um, so that's going to bring you some short-term happiness so there sometimes uh, I guess it's a little demeaning or degrading to a relationship but you know you, you're looking to see how you can advance your own agenda do I need money do I need short-term happiness do I need victory points what do I need out of this relationship here um, which is very interesting so we've uh, we've uh, placed out our cards um, and now we check to see if we gain or how many hourglasses we're going to have. We're still in this neutral area, so we're going to remain at six. The next part of the upkeep phase is counting the number of projects, jobs, and relationships and partners you have in front of you. 
You gain a stress for each one over three. I only have one right now, so I am okay. Um, and the last thing would be in the upkeep phase is paying your um, upkeep costs. Right now, my shoe collection and my clothes collection do not have an upkeep, so I don't have to do it. But if I if I advance it this next turn by paying three dollars, um, I'm going to get um, this benefit here at one time, and then I'm going to get to uh, have an upkeep cost of three coins for one short-term happiness. So it's a nice way to get projects to possibly co cost cheaper. So the question is, do I need do I need that? Am I going to need projects to go down? Is that going to align with my life goals. So that's the end of the upkeep phase of round two. So we're going to start with the action phase now. Okay, so one of my goals is I have to have at least $8. I want to start upgrading my clothes collection so that I can start getting victory points. If I do it this turn, I can, uh, I can, I can start getting two, four, yes, two four six eight it, it's eight victory points that's maybe 10 victory points um it's gonna be costly but 10 victory points is a fifth of what i need so just out of that card i could get a fifth of the points i need to to succeed so that might be a priority but if i take a job that's gonna pretty much take all of my um <laughs> my income just to do clothes which i think is okay um so i could take this job as a uh, costume designer it's gonna cost me one intelligence and three creativity I do have enough um, that is an arch job a level one arch job they're both oh oh yeah I forget yeah you can turn the cards over and she, like it's everything's pretty much the same the the cost is the same the upkeeps the same it's just like your personal preference do I want to be a choreographer or a screenwriter do I want to be a web designer or a costume designer right um, I, it's very nice to provide that much uh, choice um, so I think I'm gonna. I think I gotta get a job because I want to um, be able to afford my my clothes collection. So which job I'm gonna take? I think I wanted to take. I'll be a screenwriter. I think that'd be pretty fun. So we are going to get in that entry level job. That's gonna take three. Oh, you know what though? Oh, they all need so much creativity. Boo. Okay, because I need that creativity to dance though too. Like, it's very important to me. Okay, so we're not going to refresh our jobs. We've taken our screenwriter job. What are we going to do next? I think there's a possibility that we are going to... Um, <clears throat> do I advance in my project of learning to dance? That's going to cost me three creativity. I don't think I have a really uh, good way to... Um, gain short-term happiness to make it cheaper. So the question is, do I do I play? I could play to gain more creativity to pay for it. Um, I also do want to improve my clothes collection. Okay, so yes, <clears throat> I'm going to put a hourglass on here, and I'm going to pay the six coins I just got from for being a screenwriter to advance my clothes collection to warehouse. So now I'm up here at the warehouse level. So I have this upkeep cost of six coins for two points. I've committed to being <clears throat> a close aficionado. I'm going to gain some influence. I'm going to gain some short-term happiness. And I'm going to gain three points for that. So I have really upgraded this. And now I cannot uh, take any more actions on this one because um, you can move up in any uh, any order you want, but you can't move back down. So the only time this card is going to go away is if I decide to, to get rid of it, I don't want to pay that upkeep cost, and that's going to cost me some short-term happiness. With my next action, I am now going to go to advance my learning to dance here. I have to move to the next one. I gain that short-term happiness here, so this is going to only cost me two creativity this time, and I'm going to gain two more influence and one more victory point. I got three time left, and I I want to, I you know I want to sit and reflect, and see if this is the time for me to get into a relationship. <clears throat> my <clears throat> my uh, obsession with my clothes is taking all the money I'm making from my my job. So do I get into a relationship where I can depend on my partner for some money? It's gonna take some time. I'm gonna lose so much time. I'm only gonna have if I get into this relationship. Um, 
<coughs> I am going to to have to lose another time here to upkeep it, but I'm going to gain three and a short-term happiness. The question is, am I going to do enough projects to... I think that might be a nice way to get victory points, um, completing these projects. Because the, the thing is, and then I, I, I'll, I think if I advance in my career and finish projects, that should be the thing that helps me get my money for my life goal and victory points for the win condition. So maybe that's the direction I go in. So who's going to help me with that better? I think it's going to have to be Dana is the relationship we're going to start with. So we're going to start this relationship with Dana. Uh, we're going to start dating. I can't just have a relationship with her. I have, This is a long-term commitment. So I can't jump into this next level. I have to start there, which is going to net me $3. So I'm dating Dana for 3 bucks. Sounds weird when you put it like that, but hey. So I could spend some money and advance that relationship um, to gain some more money, but I'm, that's committing to an upkeep cost that I can't pay past one round. So that's, that's interesting. And if you can see here slightly, we've got a, three things, a project, a job, and a, a relationship. So if I take on any more projects or if I take on any more relationships, um, I can't, I don't, I guess you could take another job, but it's going to stress you out, right? So with these final two, I think I'm going to think about, I think I'm going to, I just got my job as a screenwriter, but man, my clothes obsession, I need to take a temp job to get a little bit more money back here because I know things are going to start costing. I don't know if I'm going to have that job come out that I need. It has to be an arts job in order to get the promotion. Um, although I could just quit screenwriter and take any job if I can afford it. Um, and I think the other thing I'm going to take, I'm going to play. I'm going to do a temp job, but I'm going to play because I need more creativity. I plan to advance in my, my dancing. I, I heard that the next thing is the foxtrot, and I really want to be there for that one. So I'm going to spend my last hourglass there. So that is the end of the action phase of the second round, my first year of adulthood. I took on a job. I started a relationship. I really upgraded my clothes collection, and I, I learned to swing dance. It was a really good time um, my first years as an, as an adult. So we are now at the end of the round phase where there's no additional uh, benefits from group projects. We're not discarding any single round projects. We're going to take back our hourglasses. Uh, we're going to reset our short-term happiness. Then we're going to move on to advancing the next round marker. We're going to now discard our cards and redraw. Okay, we're gonna re we, we've reset our board. Now we check and see how many uh, projects, jobs, and partners we have. We have our three, so we're not going to gain any stress. Um, and that means we are going to make sure that we have all six of our uh, hourglasses because they're still within the neutral stress area. Now we're going to pay our upkeep costs. My job, I'm going to have to pay one time, one creativity, and one influence. In doing so, I'm going to get six coins. But I'm just going to leave those coins there because I have to pay those six coins, but I'm going to gain two victory points. Um, and that is the only upkeep cost I have here. I'm still only dating Dana, so I don't have an upkeep cost. But if I if I nurture that, re that uh, relationship and uh, I have to have at least two activities though. So she doesn't want to she doesn't want to date me. She doesn't want have a, a long-term relationship because I don't do enough activities. Um, so at this point we're in just in the dating phase and it's going to be a little bit of time before because let's take a look at our cards and see that only one activity came out. So here are our new options for projects and activities. I could become a TV presenter. I like that idea. It's going to give me some cash and, and victory points. And that's where I said I wanted to get my victory points was from, is my projects. And it costs influence. And I've garnered some influence here for my wardrobe. And I'm not using it on anything else just yet. Um, I could do a magazine that's a group project. I'm not sure if that's going to be cost beneficial for me just yet, or I could write nonfiction. It's going to take me some intelligence. I don't have a good way of, of garnering intelligence except for studying, which I could commit to, but I think I like the idea of this money a little bit more than gaining influence at this point. Um, in terms of projects or items, I could get a uh, golf course membership, 
Um, I could get a personal gym or I can go on an activity. It's our first activity I think we've seen where I can pay at a cost and get those benefits. Uh, could be nice to do some horse riding, work towards that Dana goal of having activities, uh, maybe lessen the cost to start my TV presenter project. Oh, oh that's going to stress me out. That'll be my fourth one. Uh-oh. But I'll relax. Um, and I do have that resourceful skill, so I could. there is some more benefit to resting than, than not. Here are our new job possibilities. We can be an engineer, which is a sci level one science job, or set design, which is a level two arts job. Well, I've got a level one arts job. I could go from screenwriter to set designer, or what's on the other side? 3D artist. Oh, interesting. To get that promotion, I would need four creativity and two influence. I've got it. I could do that. I'd be raking in $11. Ooh, that could that could cover my clothes collection and Dana's upkeep. Here are some possible partners, but you know what? I am a steady Freddy. I, I do not, when I am in a committed relationship, I do not look to branch out. So I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna think about it. Not an option. I am I am looking to start a relationship with Dana. So that being said, I think we are going to have to spend we're going to spend one dollar on a pony ride now I'm gonna be I can possibly go back here later and improve my activities uh, to get these victory points which would be really nice but uh, for right now I'm just gonna go with the pony so the horseback riding the ho the pony riding is gonna be one short-term happiness and more well, my stressor uh, one towards a positive way the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to now get a job I'm going to get the promotion and my screenwriter tells me because it's it's, a, it's an art job, it's a level one, it's a promotion, it's going to cost me four creativity and two influence and I'm going to get three dollars and three stars instead of the eleven I'd get but I'm now going to be start getting eleven for upkeep so four creativity, two influence. And that was actually all my creativity um, which kind of sucks but you know you, you you give a little of yourself in order to uh, to get something and I'm gonna get and that's that uh, to, that hourglass I was on it and that's gonna go over to spent time uh, that was on the screenwriter for upkeep um, I'm gonna get that three coins and three points and I guess that's I think that's the main benefit is getting those points because now I'm uh, I got 10 points. I'm a fifth of the way there. Um, yep. Okay. So I've got my promotion now, but it's going to cost me more time. I'm, I'm, I have less time to do other things now because it's just more work to be a set designer. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to learn to dance again. And I'm going to, oh, I can't though. I have no benefit. So actually, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play and I'm going to gain three creativity. My short-term happiness is uh, plus one, so it's only going to cost me. Uh, it's, I can have one last. It's only. It's going to cost me those three to move up in the foxtrot, which is going to give me three influence, and it's going to give me three more victory points. I've got one more hourglass. I don't want to. I don't think I want to improve here. That's going to cost an upkeep of. Nine. I could start getting some victory points here. That might be nice. I wanted. I did want that that project though. Um, but that's going to be a stressor. I'm going to gain this one stress. But that might be okay for now. Cause, but I'm. I, I. No cards have come out with a heart, so there's been no super benefit to not stressing out. Cause I, I can't advance past that point anyway. So I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna take that that project because that's got that's got five victory points this one I had to do an upkeep of three of five one two three you know what actually I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna actually do my my shoes I'm gonna spend five dollars that I've got right now and I am going to upgrade all the way up to the warehouse I'm gonna get three influence I'm gonna get one short-term happiness 
which I actually should have done that before learning to dance. So, yeah, this is solo play. I'm taking that resource back. I'm saying I did this first and then that. Um, and then I get two more stars, which puts me at 15. I am going to have this upgrade, but upkeep, but I'm going to get it one, two, three, four more times. It's four points. This would have been, uh, well, six, three, one. That's going to be 10 points, but it's going to take cost me stress and it's going to be harder to achieve, I think, in the long run than just three more dollars now that I have my set designer job. And I'm close to finishing this out next turn. I should be able to finish that out if I can find a way to get some more creativity um, here. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh, I'm going to be in trouble here. I think I don't think I can. I'm going to take that fully back. I don't even think I can. I can learn to dance because I'm going to lose my job if I do that, and that's not going to be worth it because I'm not going to be able to pay that upkeep cost. So I'm going to just take. Say I didn't learn to dance. I did my shoe collection, which increased my short-term happiness, sure, but I need that creativity for my job. So I can't do that. I can't lose it. So I've got one time left. Let's take a look at the board and see what I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot I should put out a new activity, or a new item activity. Oh, it is an activity as well, a cocktail party. I could afford it. I could do a level two activity. That would then allow me to advance my relationship with, with uh, Dana, and then I could advance my project maybe a little bit faster oh oh hold on no that won't work yeah okay we're going to hmm I think we're going to I would like to play again but I don't stress out yeah we're gonna we're gonna play we're gonna stress out over playing um, to get more creativity because I just really need to be able to advance and finish that project. So I would take on stress of taking a new project or take on stress of being able to finish my, my dancing, which is now I, I started to relieve stress, but now it's become a whole thing. And uh, I don't even know if it's worth it anymore. All right, I've placed all my hourglasses. We don't have any projects, uh, single or group, to, to deal with. So we're going to take back our hourglasses. Um, from the board and cards we're going to reset our short term happiness we're going to then advance the turn marker we are then going to discard our cards and draw again okay we've refreshed our, our cards our displays now we're going to go to our upkeeps uh, or before we do that, we're going to count the number of jobs, projects, and relationships. We're at three. That's our max. We don't gain any stress. Now we're going to do our upkeeps. I've got to do two time to my set design with one intelligence and two creativity. That's going to pay off for me in the, in the way of $11. My other upkeeps, I've got $3 for a point, and I've got $6 for two points. So... I am going to get four points or three points. I have no other upkeeps, so let's go ahead and get onto the action phase. I'm gonna. I, I was left over with five dollars after all this upkeep, um, so I have to. In order to trigger that eight dollars at the end, I'm gonna have to find a way to get more money. We are on track to hopefully die at old age three. We're still in this middle area. We haven't dropped below it. When we get old age, when we hit old age, we're gonna lose three stress, one, two, three. And then we hit the second old age, we lose six, one, two, three, four, five. So that would kill me. That's fine. I'm on perfect track for that at least. So we gotta make sure we have money and we have victory points. So there are no level three jobs. I'm not going to improve on that area. So the question is, after I do a project, can I take a second job? I'll have to check on that. So, no, they only, I can only have one job at a time. So we're, we're sitting with our set designer, hopefully going to have some more uh, money later. So that's out of, we won't be taking a job. We've only got four time this turn. We've spent two time on my job. So with this four time, I have to 
I advance my project to get some victory points, take another activity perhaps to get some victory points. I could go for a holiday, a skiing holiday, and get five victory points straight out. But that's going to take me two time, one to do the activity and another one to spend that extra time there. That would leave me two, one to advance in dancing. Um, and then that last one, would I, what would I do? Um, would I advance my relationship with Dana? It's going to cost me more money, though, and we're so close to the end. I don't know if I can have that upkeep. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to end the relationship with Dana. That's going to stress me out. Am I going to gain enough benefit here? No. No, not at this point, I don't think. Any projects do I want to take? Business school. That can give me some some intelligence. I have to have two creativity left over here, so I can't get into making a board game. Um, learn cooking. That kind of coincides with my wanting to, uh, but uh, it's going to stress me out to take another dance, and I don't want to stress out here because uh, if I go stress out too much, one, two, three, I, uh, I think I got to get those victory points up. So I think the thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this. Do I want that activity? Is five points there? Yeah, we're going to spend on that activity. We're going to go on holiday, skiing holiday, I, and I am going to spend five and a time on it to get five victory points. Trying to get chunks of victory points where I can. I've got two actions left. I am going to continue on my quest to learn the dance. I'm going to lose four, oh yeah, four creativity for that. I'm going to get three influence. I'm getting all this influence and not doing anything with it. Um, and then I'm going to get three more points. Um, I've got one left. I could start that relationship with Dana, but she's going to take up time. She is going to make it easier. No, you know what I need to do? I have to do creativity because I have to be able to pay for it. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to play. So we're going to play and we're going to gain three activity. And that's all our hourglasses. Wow, the rounds just go by so fast when you have to commit uh, time to working. You lose out so much. Don't gain any projects, no group projects or, or individual one turn projects to deal with. So we're going to take our hourglasses back. We're going to reset our short term happiness, advance our round marker. We've got. One, two, oh, it, yeah, yeah. At the end of round, at the end of it, yeah, die after second round old age. So now I've got three turns. The last one of a double, this will be the last time where I can get a job, um, start a relationship, or work overtime, which I haven't done to myself because I'm living the Zen life. Um, advance the round marker, let's go ahead and discard our cards. We're looking, I haven't talked about it much, but we've been. Skipping over this part, at this point, after refreshing the board, we're going to gain or lose hourglasses. This would be the time. We've been in this zone the whole time, so I haven't talked about it. So we've maintained our six. After that, then we go to our cards, and um, we check to see on our stress levels and upkeep costs. So again, I'm good. I'm within my three. I probably need to end this relationship. Um, if I do, I'd lose one stress. One, two, three would put me down to losing an hourglass on the last turn. I don't really want to do that. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do it anyways, though, even if I moved up and didn't. So, yeah, let's end this relationship so we can take on another project. Sorry, Dana. It just didn't pan out. I thought I had big aspirations of, of what could have what could have been, but uh, I just didn't have the time. No time. No time. All right. Um, so that's going to lower my... I'm going to lose some stress there because... I did that, and I think um, I also get a loss of a short-term happiness. Things are going to be a little bit harder to, uh, to it's going to be a little bit more costly to do things, which sucks. Uh, projects, that is, which is going to really suck. All right, so now we're going to do my upkeep. I have to spend two time as my set designer with two creativity and one... Um, intelligence one knowledge to get 11 coins 
which six, nine of them are going to go back and for three more victory points. Don't know if that's the most effective engine, but I think... I think it's every five um, at the end of the game. So here it's not three for nine. That's uh, a two, saving two points per uh, for those coins. That's the only thing. That's all my upkeep. So I am good to go with our next action phase. Okay, we just finished our upkeep. We're entering our last adult phase. After this, we're going to go into old age, and we're going to lose the opportunity to start a relationship get a career or go over time but I think we gotta start thinking about that Zen life and I realized that I'm gonna the way this works is I'd I'm gonna lose the stress at the beginning of the run not the end so if I don't have at least six slots so I'm gonna have to jump up so I think one thing that came out today was this is our first one with a, a heart I think I'm gonna have to eat a lot of salad here to get Zen just to try to make it and then I think the other project I'm going to take, I think, is going to be this reality show. It's going to be a nice way to get some six points. I've got a lot of influence, get a little bit of cash to fund my, my sh clothes and shoes. Um, but we'll see. Um, I've only got four time because two of my time was taken up by my set designer job to pay for my things. Um, I'm trying to think... I don't think I'm going to be able to complete my learning to dance this round. I might have to do that in my old age. I need five creativity. I've only got one. In order to keep my job, I have to at least have two. So I think the first thing I'm going to do with my time is to play so I can keep my money. I've got to, I've got to keep that or get that creativity to keep my job. I've got to keep my job. I have to have to complete the life goal of um, having at least eight. Um, I think the last turn I'm going to lose some short-term happiness. I, I lost some short-term happiness for discarding that card. So projects are going to be a little bit more expensive, expensive which kind of sucks. I'm going to take a project. I'm going to take this reality show. It's a one-time thing, so I'm going to discard it at the end. And I have th I'm going to discard 13 influence to become the winner of the reality show. Get six points and three coins. I'm at 35 now. Again, I have to be at 50. That seems like a tall ask here. Um, and then I'm going to get three coins for that as well. That leaves me with two time. Am I going to take another project? And that's going to add stress. I would jump down there. Then, my because I want to take that salad, I would, with one. Yeah. Jump down there. I'm going to lose three. One, two, three. Oy, oy, oy. That heart would jump me back up here. If I could rest, I'd gain two more. And then I'd lose six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. I don't think there's any way to do it. Maybe I do an activity to gain a little bit of happiness so I don't fall down too far. Maybe that's the key here. Do I go skydiving? That's some good victory points. How much coin do I have? I've got five. Let's take a look at these activities. Okay, so I could go skydiving, get some happiness, and three points for all five of them. I could go on a shopping spree for four and get some points and happiness. The key here is to get some of that. Oh, that's short term. I know I want to relax. So I think it's going to be the fry mark or the soccer match. They give me both the same. Well, sticking with theme, I suppose a shoe collector and clothes collector would go on a shopping spree. So I'm going to do it for the $1 because I want to get that relaxation up. So for, for $1, I'm going to gain some short-term happiness. And I'm going to relieve some stress. And I do have that option to upgrade it and do that activity again later, which is... Something that's nice. <laughs> and actually, I forgot to reveal both of these and place my hourglass to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take another project because I, I have to complete a life goal to get there. So the only, the only way I can see to jump up a level is to eat some salad. So I'm going to lose one short-term happiness and have no benefit from eating salad. Okay, I have no more hourglasses, so we're at the end of the round phase. I'm going to... Um, they already discarded 
my single round project of being a reality show winner. Um, no group projects to discard. I'm going to take back the hourglasses that I placed out on both my cards and on the board. going to reset my short-term happiness. It's the end of the fifth round. One, two, three, four, five. So these are now shut down. I'm, a, I'm an old man, so I'm not going to be getting jobs or getting into relationships at this point or working overtime. Who's got that gummit? That's not the life for me anymore. So we advance the round marker. I'm going to lose three stress. One, two, three. So here I'm going to have to rest and then get that salad. I don't know if I'm going to get there because I get a next time it's going to go down six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So I got to get into this spot right here. It's a possibility because if I go off the edge of the board, I die immediately. And I have to last to the end of old age six to get that one. And I've got to get 25 points. I'm not going to achieve both of these things. Um, that's my call in the first place, but I think I want to try to figure out a way to stay alive. Um, that's going to be interesting to me. So, okay, um, advanced our, our old age. We lost our stress from it. We're going to lose one more hourglass. So we're only going to have five to start instead of the six. And then two of them are going to be put on my job. So I'm going to have three actions to try to get points and advance my life longer. We're going to discard these cards now and uh, draw new ones. Okay, we have uh, updated our board. We gained and lost our hourglasses, and now we're counting our total projects and jobs. We're still at three, so we don't gain any stress. Now we're going to pay our upkeep costs. Two time, one intelligence, two creativity will get me $11 for my set design. Three of those dollars will go back. Six, nine of those dollars will go back for three points. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little, I'm not that surprised that this little engine didn't uh, <clears throat> produce as much as I wanted. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, we got some options for some more victory points. It'll be, I think we'll be close. Um, I think it'll be a good showing. But we'll see. It could crumble and fall. All right, we've done our upkeep. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our three loan actions for this turn okay i'm not taking any projects on i don't think i've got to focus on this healthy eating so the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put this token on healthy eating to move it up i'm going to lose a short-term happiness but i'm going to gain an intelligence um i don't i could get creative and i could uh, i couldn't even learn to dance because i'd have to spend a time um, and five to get that so I can't I not only have two times so that would take up the rest of the time and I don't have enough creativity to do it so I can't do that another option I could do would be to rest and gain an uh because I want to move up here one two I'm not going to be able to jump in one turn here I don't think I, I can't I've got to do this salad two more times currently Currently, I'm here. I'd have to do it two more times, and I've already got one hourglass on it. I think death is coming, and uh, there's not much we can do about it. So, I'm trying to think, how can I best get my uh, two, three, four, five, six. I've only got six dollars. I needed eight. Uh, maybe I don't rest. I'm gonna die anyway, so I gotta make sure I can do what I can do. Let's try to live life to the fullest then if we're not gonna live the Zen life. I think the way to do that would be to spend some money or is it to learn to dance? Do I wanna finish that project? I can't do it because I don't actually, I can't do it because I don't have five creativity, I have two. So I'm gonna go out and do one more one more round of shopping. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, I won't. I need money. So let's spend. I guess we're going to do a temp job and get three. Because we have to have eight at the end. That temp job is going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It gives me nine. Is there anything I can do for a dollar? No. 
Is there anything I can do to get any victory points at this point? No, I don't think so. So I guess the last thing I'm going to do is uh, my last my last action as a <laughs> as a as a living person is going to play just because I can't I don't think I can squeak out any victory points anywhere. I can't finish learning to dance. Um, eating more salads not going to do anything for me. Just stress me out. I could go on a shopping spree. I could uh, go horse riding, which would give me some victory points, but they would take away from the coins, and I wouldn't achieve my life goal. Although I'm not going to achieve them, so what's more important, the points or the goal? Yeah, let's say points. Let's get my points up higher. So let's take that back. I'm going to take back that uh, plane, and I'm going to go on one last shopping spree. So because I, I, I'm at the lowest level of this activity, I can I can go all the way up here, and I think... Yeah, they're exactly, horse riding and, and shopping spear are exactly the same cost. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to spend six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to gain four stars. And that will go all the way up here then. I'm no longer going to, I'm only going to meet one of my three life goals, which I met in the very beginning of the game. And I couldn't meet these other two. My shoe and clothes collection was just too expensive for my career choice. I couldn't keep up with it, and that and that engine only got me so much. That's nine points, nine coins for three stars. Yeah, very interesting. That's uh. So let's let's play it out. So you see, I'm, I'm talking as if I'm already dead. Um, I'm sure that's very realistic in real life, very sombering. But uh, I gotta finish my end of round phase. So uh, additional bonuses for projects and such. Nothing happening. No single round or group projects to discard. Take back my one lone hourglass that I spent out there and those off my cards. Uh, determining first player, whatever, you know that doesn't happen here in solo. Reset your um, sh your short-term happiness. We're going to advance that round marker. We're going to subtract um, our stress. Six stress this time. One, two, three, four, and I'm croaked. I'm dead. So oh, this has been Pursuit of Happiness. I completed one of my three life goals, and I got uh, 42 points. I needed 50, and I needed three life goals. Didn't get it, but I, I truly, truly enjoy the, uh, the narrative that, uh, that this game plays out, um, those choices. You know, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this job to fund my obsession with clothes, and then I used my my clothes and fashion to win a reality show. Um, very, very interesting. I, I love the concepts of, of getting um, partners and jobs to, to align with the projects and, and items that you're trying to get. The different life goals are gonna make it feel a little different each time. The, um, the childhood trait, I don't think I used it once. I think I almost used it once and took it back to try to to do something different, but um, so that was a little disappointing here. There's been other ones that have been a little bit more helpful, but um, not a huge, uh, not a huge bonus. Not a, not a s other games like mm, Circadians. Um, those player um, abilities drive the 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 strategy you're going to take. Not so much in this one. Um, I wasn't one extra, and maybe I should have. Maybe that's where I fell apart. Maybe I needed to rest more to live the Zen life. But as you saw, only one card, only one card came out with this heart the whole game. And that's the only way that you can uh, advance on the stress marker. Let me show you that again. When you, when you rest, when you relax, when you do all, all these other things, you can move up two spots. But if I was here and I had two spots to move up, I could only move up to that line. The only way to jump in this new color zone is with this heart. And this was the only heart that came out all game. Um, now, I didn't, I'm sure I messed up on refreshing or, or putting new cards out after I've bought an activity or a project, but um, I'm not sure if it's easier to get hearts in a multiplayer game because more people are buying stuff and more cards come out. But this could be a killer in the solo game, not being able to find more of these heart cards. And, it, that hasn't been the case every time, but a majority of the time, very limited number of hearts come out. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox and uh, let you get to your day, but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll, I'll see you next time.